too pure for the pipes. That's what the city of Folsom is saying about what's been causing copper pipes to be damaged by dozens of tiny pinholes. Chances are you've heard about this story, right? We've been covering it for a while. But how can water be so pure that it caused hundreds of pipes to leak? New at 6, CBS 13's Ryan Hill is digging deeper on this pinhole predicament. Kind of vaguely read about the pinhole leaks in Folsom. We were wondering what's happening and what else can it happen? This is just in the garage, it happened so far. It's the million dollar question flooding the minds of people in Folsom for months. People like Jagat Shaw and Maya Majid dealing with thousands of dollars worth of damage because of pinhole leaks in their pipes. I came home from work uh, late at night to find my kitchen ceiling just hanging. I'm in this for 8,500 bucks. There's some people that are in this for 40,000. Now they finally have an answer. A head scratching discovery from an independent study by consultants. The water in Folsom is too pure, along with the higher pH level, damaging the pipes. That has the potential to create pitting within certain parts of copper pipe, and this can occur where there might be impurities in the pipe or where there might be sediment that is settled uh, in the pipe. So, how does that happen? Because the water is low in organic matter, it will try to stable itself, become more in equilibrium. And what the water will do is will physically pull ions, or in this case, copper, uh, from the copper pipe. It's an answer to the problem, but some think there's more to the pinhole puzzle. We've been drawing water out of this lake for 50 years, and all of a sudden this is just happening? Like I said, I don't think anybody's doing this purposely. I think we need to find out why it happened. The city of Folsom says it's still determining how the pH level in the water reached that critical point. The consultants who did the study believe there could be residual lime in the water, or it could be the pipe materials influencing the pH level.